Hey guys, it's Lavoid here, back for another Universe Sandbox episode. It's been a little bit. It has indeed been a little bit of time since I last recorded a video, but I am back. Fear not, I am back, at least for this video, before I wait another six months to make one. But yeah, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and what we're to doing today is we are exploring the latest Universe Sandbox update, which is an update where you can actually design custom planets. You can do what's called planetscaping. And this, this really, this really excites me. I really like this. And I've, I've played around with it a little bit on my own, but it's, it's mostly for rocky planets and adjusting how they look. But if we go ahead, create a main sequence star here I'm gonna try to get that up to a normal size probably want you know but actually make it a little large make it large and in charge here let's quickly get up the habitable zone did I Habitable, the habitable zone. Jesus, the habitable zone is acting a little strange, it would seem. But we can guesstimate. We can guesstimate. I can use my knowledge. I'm gonna assume that two AU is a safe distance. But what I'm gonna set up is first we're gonna put a gas giant up around here. First, let's see what temperature this becomes. That size seems fine by me. Also, there's a new view called Surface Lock, which is interesting. I don't actually want it for this right now. Is that what... Eskip? Oh, I see. I was very confused. I thought it was like... I didn't reason... I didn't read these words and see what this was about. But, yeah, I mean, there's there's some stuff. You were always able to do some appearance stuff on it, on Gas Giants. But we can, you know, add a few things here. Starts to look interesting. Although, I want to patch that up a little bit. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll take a second to spruce up this gas planet and then we'll actually make it kind of a light blue up here oh yeah certainly not appearing that color due to the stars color here oh yeah now now what we're gonna do of course is we're gonna go ahead and put our rocky planet in orbit of it. Actually, let's go for let's go for a moon. Moons give us a little more flexibility in terms of what we actually do for this system here. Uh, we'll view. We'll go for an orbital view. But yeah, you see how uh, this is what we can actually do. So we got the we got the surface lock on this fella here. But you see, we can actually do a bit of planetscaping here. We got elevation tools. We got temperature tools. So, you know, I, I don't really like what's going on here. So if we actually, we can actually lower it here. And if we, we, we can actually speed up time. So, of course, the water's all going to blow off. So maybe we should actually focus on fixing that first but let's go ahead surface composition where's the atmosphere let's give it a bit of a magnetosphere first yeah that's fine that's good surface Water, atmosphere, surface pressure, 
ATM. Let's make it a pressure of one ATM. Okay. Is it, how's it doing temperature wise? Does it still have water on it even? Nope. That's, I didn't mean to do that. Whoop. Hold on, we gotta, uh, gotta dial it back. Oh boy, did it again. I'm a little confused what's happening here. My question is why is the water blowing off? Like, I'm, it's, it's not clear to me why that's happening. Maybe it's just too close? So what is happening to this star? Is there... Is there a reason it's turning gray? What is going on? Is what's happening? What? I'm... I am admittedly a little bit lost. I'm a little lost. Our star has mysteriously gone gray. Is there a reason for that? Appearance? Whoops. I can't say I know what I did. What this is... It's peculiar. This is... This is very unfortunate. I didn't realize that doubling the luminosity would do that. I didn't know that was logarithmic or anything. I was... Uh, that did not go well. Yeah, there's... There's not really any salvaging this, is there? We can go look at our exoplanet here, but I... Doubt it's doing well. D -d -d Let me click on it! Our sad little moon here. A little confused... This blue appearance. Wait, they're brighter now? Oh, it's probably just the automatic lighting, but still. It's beyond. Beyond puzzling. Yeah, it's got this very dense atmosphere, which would keep it warm if there were a sun. There were a star. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, look at this in friendly, inviting blue sky. Nope. It's a frozen wasteland with crop circles for poles. 
That's cool. Oh, well, here's the here's the planet planet scaping tool. We can add some ice here. That looks kind of cool. Planet doesn't mind. It's not gonna come warm anytime soon. There's a bit of water that's gonna disappear very quickly. We can add elevation. Jeez, that that adds up quickly. So let's remove that. Probably want the rate a little bit lower. Oh, yeah, you can add stuff here and there, and you know, it does what it does. It's it's, it's all cool. It's all rather cool. I give that two weeks. Oh no, just sticking around. Has no right to, but yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is it for this episode of Universe Sandbox. I greatly appreciate you joining us. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. And I hope your solar systems turn out a little better than mine.